Welcome to another Bigraphy tutorial. In this video, we'll walk you through creating a dynamic rotating polygon shape that can be adjusted with simple controls. Let's get started. This demo showcases Bigraphy parametric design capabilities. By connecting nodes for parameters like height, radius, and sides, you can create and adjust a rotating polygon shape with ease. First, let's create a polygon node. This node will allow us to create the base polygon for our design. Next, we need to control the radius and number of sides of our polygon. For this, we will use range input nodes, giving them minimum and maximum values that call the radius and the other the count polygon. Find the move node, which will allow us to move the image and specify the motion vector. Add a vector Z node, giving it a value using the range input node. Add a rotate node that rotates the object. For now, let's define an angle of 360 degrees, calling it rotate, then we will use a division node with the help of that node we will perform a division next. We need to convert degrees to radians for the rotate node. Adding a degterad node. Now let's add an explode node to get the curves and points of the resulting images. Now use two extrude points nodes. We will then use these points and edges to create surfaces with two extrude points. But before we extrude, we need to adjust the order of the original polygon vertices using shift list, which rearranges the list items by changing their positions. By adding the curve to surface field, we can turn the polygon into a surface. Finally, we use the apply material node. It allows you to assign materials to surfaces, giving them distinct colors, textures, metallicity, roughness, and opacity. Now we will use the surface edges node to clearly show the sides of the image. This step helps in making the edges of the surfaces visible and easy to understand. Now let's activate the demo from the menu to the right and see our model. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.